do some weird people news. All right, this video is without prejudice and or without recourse. I'm not an attorney, so I'm not giving legal advice. Maybe opinion, maybe not. All right, <clears throat> so uh, this video is going to be with arm's length, and I'm going to reserve all my rights. Okay, so uh, let's proceed forward. We'll see just now, this is just to clarify one or two points. I've spoken to a few people tonight and we've come forward with various things about the Commonwealth Court is not attached to anyone. It's not, it doesn't deal with anyone. The Commonwealth Court is only a lawful process, right? Now, while we've mentioned things, uh, somebody speaks to me about it, when you, you write their names, you write their names just now and they're certainly are doing things. Uh, they use to be dog alert and they're going to be things, the gentleman's going to be syntax, grandma, all these things. That's really good. I like syntax grammar. I'm not fully aware of it because I don't fully understand it. But the point is, if you use something like that, it's to address the failings in their system, but you're arguing in their system again. Now, if you do that, we stay away from your system. And it's the same with, it's the same with, it's the same with, obviously, signing your name. When you sign a name a certain way, or you put a title, you're doing that. And when you put your title down or write a certain way, you're giving consent away. No, you're not. You're entitled to write the name any way you want. You're entitled to put there, uh, use anything you want. It doesn't matter. As long as you make a stance under common law and you confirm that you're a living man or woman, providing you do this, you'll be okay. Um, on a final point, you saw, I don't know how long this we can answer some questions later on. The final point I'll make just now is just to show you how idiotic that their system is just now. We're dealing with an issue tomorrow on Jeff's going to court. Well, what happened not so long ago, I was speaking to a friend in Portsmouth, and he actually done this in court. It was quite clever, because what happens is when you go to court, first of all, they will not accept you as a living man or woman. So that's the first thing. If you try to push this point that you're a living man or woman, the judge will get fed up, and eventually they will then turn around and question uh, your mental stability. <laughs> and they'll actually want you to be examined. Right? And I've actually seen them and thrown people in the jail to be assessed as well. So we started and I said, well, what we'll do is we'll change it around. So this guy was going to court and I said, right, you know what's going to happen? He says, yes, I know. He's already said that I'm mentally unstable. I said, fine. Well, what to do is go into the court and then play it like this. So he went in and said he was a living man. And when he said he was a living man, they just said, I'm not having this. I'm not having this. I'm not starting all this again. <laughs> uh, and he said, look, and then when he'd been discussing it for about five minutes, then he kicked in and I says, say this. So what he did is he waited for about five minutes so there was like a conversation. He then turned around and he says to the judge, I'm concerned. I'm sorry, I'm concerned. And the judge just paused and he said, what do you mean you're concerned? He said, I'm concerned about you. <laughs> the judge looked at him. He says, what do you mean, me? He says, well, you've been trying to me for about five minutes. He goes, yeah. He says, well, for somehow, he says, you don't have the mental capacity to determine I'm a living man. <laughs> and he looked at him. He says, you've been speaking for five minutes. He says, not only that, if I pretend to be a dead fiction, you're telling me that you're happy to converse with the dead. He says, if I told you I spoke to the dead, I'd be bound up in a nut house. He says, therefore, before you proceed, I want you mentally assessed. <laughs> and the judge says, I'm not listening to this, please, I jammed and he's running the court. And he's, for, since then, he's had four different hearings and they've all been cancelled. So when we put in paperwork just now, what we do when we put the paperwork in, we say that we will attend, as if they require a hearing, we will attend, but we're attending only for clarification purposes. So they have no authority, they have no consent. However, he says, if they wish to obviously go to a place, a court, and they require us to attend, we're happy to comply for clarification only, but we're only prepared to do so if we have a judge that is mentally competent. We require a judge who will be able to determine a living man or a living woman standing before him. If he can't do that, they're not mentally stable to sit on the bench. And not only that, if a judge does say he will accept the position of a living man or woman, they'll automatically lose because they have no authority over a living man or woman. So what you then say is if that's the case, we'd also like you, the court to confirm that the judge cannot speak to the dead. Because if he does, he's not mentally competent to be on the bench. And that's it. So they can't proceed. And that's using their system against them. That's how stupid it is. But that's the way it is. But remember, when they're using their system, everything they have police 
police are registered for companies. So it says the police are not there for policing. They're there for uh, fines. They're there to make money. They're corporations. The courts are the same. The courts are registered companies. The judges are registered companies. He said, we've got one just now. He said, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at taking that case just now. He said, it's Boris Johnston and Nicholas Sargent. Believe it or not, they're both registered companies. Yeah. Uh, which is it's ludicrous. They're not actually standing up as a living man or woman. They're actually trying to run the country and they're actually saying, here, this is what we are. They're fictions. That's all it is. They're persons. A person is a corporation. That's the way it works. So if you can get out of their house, their rules, their play part, their rules, you'll be okay. You've got to get out, stand out, do not use a system, do not use anything. It's the same when we're doing it. If you go and use allergy with a gunfight, if you go into a fight with someone and you're going to dispute it, why give them a gun? That's part of the first place. But if you then want to argue with one of their rules, it's effectively giving them a bullet and saying, yeah, stick that bullet in. The more you have joined up with them and the more you debate their system and their rules, the more bullets are given them. Well, how would they touch it with a basketball? This is just... Alrighty. <clears throat> and be fair noticed, okay? So there was a quote with a man in there. But they kept on wanting to say Mr. and Mrs. Alright? Now, I agreed a long time ago before I started learning all these things, they called me Mr. and Mrs., right? But I also come to realize that Mr. or Mrs., is nowhere on my birth certificate. And yet the, the man kind of kept challenging, and not really challenging, there is no mister here. Well, we need this mister. Well, there is no mister here. It's a title. And they would not give that mister up. Why would they not give that up? And not actually use your name. They'll call your name, but at that point in time when you walk to that bench, from that minute forward, they keep on saying Mr. or Mrs. And if you challenge it, they still will not drop it because it's a title name. And a living man or a living woman cannot be titled. Not a Mr. and Mrs. Sir, King, or anything like that. It's just a man. No more. No less. Alright. Um, this will be the people news. Never, never, never. Look just straight forward. Always look around you. Be able to protect yourself by any means necessary. I don't care how, people. I just want to protect myself from liars, cheaters, and thieves. That's always backed up by threat of violence. Bye, y'all.